G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a great little geometry problem for grade 10, which goes as follows. A right triangle has perimeter 32 and area 20. What is the length of its hypotenuse? Actually, it sounds pretty innocent. Uh, let me just draw a picture. So we've got a, a right triangle, yep, a right triangle, uh, whose perimeter is 32 and area 20. So let me label it P, Q, and R. I know, I know most people want to do A, B, and C, but I'm just being different. Uh, we're told the perimeter is 32, P plus Q plus R is 32, its area is 20, so what, half the base times the height, half P, Q is 20, and our job is to work out the length of this hypotenuse, and how I set this up, I need to work out the value of R. So actually, maybe it's not a geometry problem after all, maybe it's more an algebra problem. I've got two equations in, oh, and three unknowns, and I'll work out the value of R. Well, I guess we do have another equation up our sleeve. It is a right triangle, so p squared plus q squared equals r squared. All right, technically three equations and three unknowns. We should be able to work out p, q, and r. Um, since the question only wants r, I'm not going to worry about p's and q's then. All right, so now my job is to figure out what to do with those equations. And I look at those, and they actually don't look very friendly. They've got squares and stuff going on. And that fraction there is a little bit annoying, but I guess I can get rid of the fraction by multiplying by 2, so p, q would have to be 40. So p, q is 40. The sum of all three is 32, and I've got that Pythagorean relation. Right, how am I going to get r from that? Well, I guess I could solve for one thing and substitute into others, but I'm a little bit nervous to do that. I feel like it's going to be a bit messy. So before I go into hard work, I'm going to sort of stare at this here and think of something clever. And do you know what? I think I've been in a lot of Algebra 2 classes. Something is actually just, I don't know why, it just stares me in the face. I see this p squared plus q squared, and I see this pq. I can't help but think that p plus q squared is, if I expand it out, p squared plus q squared plus the cross terms, two pqs. Well, p squared plus q squared, we just said as r squared, I'm trying to find that out. Two pqs would be two forties, plus 80 is p plus q squared. Oh, I know what p plus q is. Well, I don't want to give it away. You know what p plus q is too. I bet there's an equation I can actually solve, and I bet the value of r, like magic, I think I just lucked out there, is going to pop out. So see if I'm right, see if my instinct is correct. Does the value of r just pop out from this equation without doing too much work? And when you get a value, check your answer with mine, in the essay that goes with this video. We can compare results, and then I've got a few more thoughts about this question. It's actually fun to think about. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.